Hi Capricorn, here is your May guidance. You've got the card of absence and the cow that says chew the card and take time to consider. So the first feeling like you may you may find that this month has like there might be times when you just feel like you don't really want to do much or maybe you just want to sit, switch off and zone out. Um, which is okay because that's the cow but the cow doesn't come in and just kind of like um, just sit around to do nothing in a sense it really is thinking things through any big decisions any choices around you really think them through don't make any decision or choices quickly or rashly and work out what 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 it brings to you, what it's going to bring to you if you do this or if you do that, in a sense, really. I mean, it's not always about, um, you know, what you gain from something. But I just mean, this could be like you have bigger choices, in a sense, really. Should I stay here or should I move forward? I'm moving forward because this will bring this in and bring more in, you know. So really make sure that you are taking some time to consider the way forward. The absent card also can represent many things. Maybe there's a loss around you. Maybe there's something from the past that's missing. Maybe there's a part of you that's missing that need to be found again. So if there's a part of you that has lost and is missing, it's time to to work on that, you know. Could be maybe some of you feel like you've lost your joy, you've lost this. You know, maybe some of you feel like you need to get healthier you know then you need, you need to like remove something to bring something better into your life so say for instance if it's like get rid of sugar get rid of this you know replacing it with more energy and more vitality so um i'd also would say to you that there, there's a deeper feeling from this card these cards so maybe you are feeling and thinking a little bit deeply I know when it comes to emotional things, you may get wobbly or you may w w not want to sort of like face those things. But don't shy away from your feelings. Be honest. What's missing? What's the absence mean to you? What, what, where are you in life now? What's missing? What do you want to bring in? And maybe it's time now with a cow to think about it and think, OK, you know what? I'm going to start working towards this or I'm going to start working towards that you know I'm ready for something to come in maybe I'm ready to let go of the past maybe I need to heal the past maybe I need to go on a journey of healing on a journey of self-discovery maybe I need to um, let go maybe I need to try to stop controlling things and just flowing with things for a while that can be a very big thing when the cow comes in of letting go of control and getting into the flow and stopping, um, you know, stopping yourself from kind of flowing in a way. You've got to learn to flow. You've got to learn to grow now in a sense, really. In my head, it give me like flowers of you, but it's like wildflowers that just grow wildly. So don't be too rigid. Don't be too much into your routine, you know. Be a bit more kind of um, flexible. You need to be a bit more flexible. Be mindful also of what you say and the words you use. Because what you say and what you use are going to be quite powerful around you at the moment. So we only want to say positive things and happy things and good things. Because otherwise we're just going to attract things that, you know, we don't want around us. But the absent card also represents it's okay to have your scars, your war wounds. It's okay, but it doesn't have to dictate the future as you move forward as well, you know. And I feel also that with the absence card, it's telling you now it's time for you to really work on your spirituality. You need to bring some magic back in, some faith back in. In whatever way, shape, form, unless you're really into your faith, your spirituality, then that's okay. If not, if you're kind of like, you know, you're a, bit, you're a bit of a believer and stuff like that, but maybe you need to delve a little bit more, whatever that means. Meditating, mindfulness, affirmations, law of attraction, you know, whatever it is, it's a good time to bring something in around you. 
So my question for you, Capricorn, what is missing at the moment? Is it like the sunshine, you know? In a sense, is it having a bit of joy? Um, do you need to um, add something else into the mix? Do you need to go somewhere different? Do you need to learn something different? What is missing? You know, what? Why? what's making you not feel so happy? The absent card can also connect into sort of like if there's like someone in the spirit world or you've missed someone or lost someone. So bear in mind they are with you. There's a real connection in that card to like feeling human loss, to actually spiritually being still connected to the person that has passed. So bear that in mind as well. But the cow energy is taking time to consider refocus re-energize putting things on track putting, putting things in track and really seeing how things are and um and moving forward you know but you don't rush when the cow comes in you really take time to see what um feel what you desire and then see what you desire you know it very much is time for reflection to really question where you are see where you're going and see what you want 